Swiping through Tinder at like 2 a.m. Left, 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 left. Wondering why there are no decent men left, 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 left. When I saw I had a super like from a guy named Jeff, Jeff 32 from the middle of nowhere. And my eyes had to pause because Jeff is a wreck. I can already tell just from his picture and bio. Behind his greasy head, I can see his bedroom floor. Or at least I know there's floor there because I see some near the door. His entire room is littered with cans and trash and clothes. And this dude just has no fat chicks in all caps as his bio. So like, even if his room was clean, I would still be stressed. Plus, his taste in bedroom wall art is questionable at best. On the wall behind him, there's a poster for Fight Club. And the poster next to that one says, Wobble of a dub dub. Oh, he watches Rick and Morty. He must be so smart. I bet he's like such a Rick. But still, my beating heart. So obviously, I make the move to hit him with the left. Cause as tempting as this is, I think I'm gonna pass on Jeff. But when I went to swipe left, I guess I fucked it up. Cause instead of going left, Jeff's profile went up. No. Did I just get myself into a super match? I don't know how this works. I don't pay for Tinder. He super liked me and I just super liked him back And I'm pretty sure I only get one super like a day I go to unmatch him, he's probably asleep, it's two Please be asleep, please be asleep, please be asleep Ding ding, I've got a message from me, you know who Oh, it's Jeff, we all know it's fucking Jeff Jeff says, hey, how are you? And I don't wanna be rude So I say, hey there, Jeff, I'm good, how are you? Jeff says, how do you feel about horror films? Which is random, but refreshing, let's be real I do like thrillers, so I tell Jeff, yeah, man, I like horror Jeff says, what's your number? I've got something to show you So I send Jeff my number out of curiosity Buzz buzz, text from Jeff, he just sent a selfie Jeff is rocking merch from the film Cannibal Holocaust That's certainly a red flag Oh no, my phone starts ringing, Jeff is calling me, is he dying, who calls? Should I answer it in case it's an emergency? I mean, why else would someone call me at 2am, that's insane. I let it ring out, and then he calls me again, and I can't tell if I'm like concerned or annoyed. Jeff, my man, you better be on your fucking deathbed, at least it's not a FaceTime, I'd kill him if he FaceTimed. I pick up and say, he says, why didn't you answer? I say, because it's 2am and you're a total stranger, and he says, if I'm a stranger, then why do you have my number? And I say, okay, good point, is that that isn't super awkward? Then he says, do you like my shirt? I say, dude. No. In case you guys haven't seen that movie, they kill a little muskrat with a hunting knife, and then they kill a turtle, also with a knife. They also kill a spider, a pig, and a snake, and then they had to kill two monkeys because they fucked up the first take. You guys don't have to watch it. Jeff says, I didn't think you were such a little bitch, and I'm like deeply offended because it's like, Jeff, I've seen every human centipede and didn't even flinch. Man, I'm sorry that I draw the line at animal abuse. I tell him to fuck off, and he says, you need me. Need me for what, Jeff? My skin? He says, your eggs are dying. You're getting close to 30. You know what, Jeff? Just take my fucking skin. Then I blocked him. And then I was swiping through Tinder at like 4 a.m. Left, 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 left. I never learned. Wondering why there are no decent men. Left, 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 left. When I suddenly got the worst idea of my life. Filters up. Show me all of Colorado.